every day for decades, First Nations children, some even newborns, have been ripped from their families and communities, and many denied medical services and other supports when they've needed them. Canada agrees to an unprecedented $40 billion deal to reform the on-reserve child welfare system and compensate those who suffered through it. Federal ministers acknowledge that Canada caused harm through a system which believed the first best option was to remove children from their families. The discriminatory removal resulted in an epidemic of foster care, also referred to sometimes as the Millennium Scoop. As found by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, more First Nations children were living in foster care then we're living in residential schools at their height. Half of the $40 billion goes to reforming the system. The other half goes to those who went through it, kids and parents alike. This includes children removed from families as well as the estates of children who died due to lack of care. The agreement still needs to be finalized, but some aspects, like support for kids aging out of care, could come into effect as early as April 2022. No amount of compensation can make up for the traumas that First Nations, children, families and communities have experienced, but this will begin the process of healing. But one party was conspicuously absent. It was Cindy Blackstock and the First Nations Child and Family Caring Society joined by the Assembly of First Nations, who filed a complaint at the Human Rights Tribunal in 2007. They alleged that underfunding on reserve child welfare amounts to discrimination. These agreements in principle are non-binding and nothing changes in the lives of children today. We need to commit ourselves to keeping watch on the government of Canada and holding it accountable until it lands some of these things. The Caring Society isn't party to the cash settlement and hasn't dropped the human rights complaint, but Blackstock says she's prepared to once First Nations children are no longer discriminated against. When Canada has ceased its discrimination in the provision of First Nations Child and Family Services and Jordan's principle at the level of the child, that's where we measure it, not on paper. Uh, do our children no longer discriminated against in the way that the tribunal found. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.